Good day everyone. There has been a lot of conflict between Emirates and Heathrow. Heathrow have been facing loads of problems lately. These problems have led to problems between them and airlines. The problem that is seen in the news is between Emirates and Heathrow and we're going to cover it. If you are new here, subscribe to receive quick updates about aviation. This all started in the month of July. Heathrow announced that they are going to reduce flights due to lack of staff, lost luggage and long lines and delays. The airport have added a limit to how many people who can depart Heathrow Airport in a day. The number was capped at 100,000 people. If Heathrow reduced the amount of flights and passengers, this will help reduce the stress levels for the remaining staff members who are working, but they will soon realize some airlines may not be satisfied with this change. Emirates is Dubai's flagship. The airline is known for their expensive business and first-class seats. On July 14, 2022, Emirates announced that they aren't going to comply with Heathrow's changes. On the same day, Emirates said in a statement, their communications not only dictated the specific flights on which we should throw out paying passengers, but also threatened legal action for non-compliance. This is entirely unreasonable and unacceptable, and we reject these demands. In this statement, Emirates is saying that they don't want to cancel flights that passengers booked and paid for. Emirates refused to cut scheduled flights because the airline would lose money, due to cancellations, which could also affect the airline's reputation. Will Emirates comply with Heathrow's demand to cut flights in the future? See you in the next video.